Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We're back here on our uh, 2166 build. Um, <laughs> if you'll remember from the last video, I went on about having a uh, big bore top end. Well, I've got a couple pistons, but the cylinder I thought was good ended up not being good. Um, whatever, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I got to digging around through the big box parts I had, and uh, there was one really about a mint X torque piston in there that the rings weren't stuck on. Um, the one that's on the other set of cases behind me's got a big groove cut down the front of it, and then there's another one I'd said the rings were stuck in, but. I'd got to thinking and remembered when I took all this stuff in that I'd went through it and remembered there being one good piston and lo and behold I got to digging around and found it. Um, I also got to digging around back here and I had a new set of 50 millimeter rings to fit it. So uh, we're going to try to see if we can hot rod the X torque. Um, I've watched several videos on it, um, just seems there's, you know, about like porting any other Strato saw, I guess. Um, but, you know, whatever, I'm going to give it my best. I've got two different cylinders here. They both look really nice. Um, you know, if I mess one up, you know, we've got another. Could I give you guys a look at this cylinder before we dive into this here this evening? Um, we're not going to do much. I'm not going to be out here long. Um, I've just kind of been waiting until late to come in once everything else is done and it's cooled off a little. But to my understanding, you can see that bridge in the center of that transfer. Um, you'd look at that and say, well, it's quad port. Well, technically it is, technically it ain't. Um, to my understanding, I've seen this on several videos, um, you pull that cap, which I don't have the tamper resistant torques to do it, and I'm not going to sit and beat and chisel the center out of them, and I have done that before, um, to take those off. Uh, to my understanding, if you pull that cap and uh, cut that little bridge out, it would be a 2171 or say if this was on a 365x torque um which would be the same damn cylinder and it is 50 millimeter they are 71 cc's which is weird um to my understanding that little bridge in the center of the transfers is the only difference in the whole damn saw um and a lot of guys cut that out um i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna leave it um <laughs> Because I know big, huge, wide ports are not high-velocity ports, especially when it comes to transfers or intakes. Um, your exhaust port, sure, take it as flat and wide as you can get it on something you're trying to get a lot of performance out of. But um, I'll cut my transfers kind of deep, usually trench them, but I rarely ever go super wide with them. But um, what we're going to do here is... You can kind of get an idea. We're going to pull the bottom of this cylinder sleeve down to where they can feed better. We're going to unshroud them to where they can feed off the case a little better. Honestly, I think I can go pretty daggone far. Um, and, you know, get some airflow moving through this thing. Um, this intake, on the other hand, uh, looking at it... Um, you can see how the uh, strato ports feed supposedly they're going to feed clean air but they're coming straight off of the carb so i don't know unless the uh emulsion tube and i've not really looked at that carb comes straight up from the bottom um and still it's going to atomize and fuel is going to go completely through the venturi of the carb but just i don't know kind of weird um how the thought how the thought process goes behind a lot of these strato saws especially when all three ports are fed off of the same carburetor um but the engineers at, it, at husqvarna i'm assuming are a lot more intelligent than i am but um <laughs> who knows but i did pick the cleaner cylinder between the two um 
exhaust port it's about damn near identical to what you'd see on a regular 372 cylinder um this does look chrome plated over nicosil plated so meaning it'll be a little easier to grind but i don't really ever have a problem grinding husky cylinders anyway um just have to use abrasives over carbide cutters and then you know you don't have flaking and chipping but uh anyway what we're gonna do is uh i'm gonna bolt this thing on the saw and uh see what kind of dang squish we have and honestly looking at this just like the little 440 i don't think we're gonna be able to widen the intake port any at all which whatever it'll be all right um we'll just do whatever we can do and give it our best but here this evening i think i want to put this thing on get it set up check squish see what kind of crazy port timing it's going to have these x torques always have some crazy timing but you know that's understandable um we can get a game plan and see what we're going to do here with this thing but it's kind of changed from you know where we were at the other night when i shot the first video on it um and guys these videos are shot probably three or four days before they're uploaded but just set them and schedule them to upload try to get something every day or every other day whether it's a little video or a long one um but um we have got a muffler coming for this um and i did find an oem starter cover it was missing all the guts in it but i think it was like 25 bucks once it was said and done um, so that's a good thing. We've got a busted up cover here that all the guts are still in. We'll just kind of swap them around, put a new rope in it. Be a done deal. It'll be 95% an OEM saw, um, which is a good thing. It does make it worth a little more in the end. And we do have an air filter coming, and I think I had to order that little bushing that goes in the chain brake handle. But hopefully it's all here sooner than later. But I'll bring you guys back once I've got this cylinder on and figure out what kind of port timing we're dealing with on this thing. All right, guys, we are ready to check squish. Thought I'd take you guys along for that. Um, I don't have rings on it, so I'm going to try to get this and position it as close to right over the wrist pin that I can. We're still going to get a little bit of dwell, but it's not going to be enough to... Well, this one's going to be tight. Hey, that's a good thing, unless it's too tight. Which then we could cut a little out of the band or some off of the top of the piston. Um, well, guys, she's mashed pretty thin. I'd say she's better than 30. I'd say she's tighter than 30 thou when we check it. Um, well, fellas, if you can see it, I'll take that every day. Uh, All right, guys, we've got our squish figured out. Um, 20 thousandths, I'm perfectly happy with that now we will pick up a little bit from our glue but uh i've honestly never picked up two or three thousandths i see some guys say that they do but it's probably all dependent on what type of glue you use and you know how heavy you cake that stuff on the saw um but the next thing i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna dig out my wheel um and get it set up and see what kind of port timing this thing has on it once i figure that out i'll bring you guys back all right guys so we've got our port timing done um, i would video that but when i get in the house and look at it from the angle of the camera like right now you're sitting to my left of the saw and i'm sitting over here to the right of it and i've got lights pointing down on both sides of it and uh the number you may see and the number I may see could be totally two different things. Um, so you're just going to have to take my word on it and take note. The numbers I get doing this could be a little different from the numbers you may get on it. But I'm willing to bet they're going to be pretty damn close. And with that said, holy crap, um, a muffler mod and a base gasket delete. I'm assuming wakes these things up tremendously. I've never run a stock one 
Um, but I'm not going to you either because we're going to port this thing. Um, you guys seen the squish 20 thousandths and some change. It'll get a little looser than that when we glue it. We've been over that. Um, we'll measure it again once it's all said and done and see what we come up with. But uh, exhaust 104. Um, transfers 123 is what I'm coming up with. Um, intake 75. Um, some of you guys that may have done one of these if you're watching and you come up with kind of similar numbers just let me know in the comments i know when we done the 660s they were a few of you guys that you come up with about the same damn thing but uh for a work saw um 28 inch bar saw hardwood saw those are awesome freaking numbers this thing will probably pull like a damn train um I've got shelves full of saws back here that pull like damn trains, no joke. Um, and numbers in my head, I'm thinking of going for, um, I don't know yet. Um, I'll probably done figured something out by the time you guys see this video. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so um, I'm hoping to get some porting done on this thing. Um, I don't know when my muffler and stuff will get here, so, uh, you know, who knows when we're going to be able to fire it and run it. And I don't really have any test wood back here worth putting a piece of, worth putting a saw in, I don't think, but I'm sure we can figure something out. If not, we'll figure it out on the weekend, but uh, who knows, I could be waiting on a muffler for another week, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking 100, 120, and 80. Um, there's nothing set in stone there. I could go somewhere in between. Um, my big bore saw, the numbers on it are kind of similar to that, but I think the exhaust is cracking a little later on it. And um, that saw's a freak. It's tuned rich at 14.2. It holds RPM on the cut really, really well. Um, that's the big bore pop up Chinese kit saw. Um, the saw of many colors is a big bore but it's got a flat top in it and i don't i know we didn't go as aggressive on the port work with that saw i think it was just kind of a clean up and put it together but we may go back into that one in you know a later video or something um but nothing set in stone there not quite a game plan yet i could stretch it on down into the 90s i don't know with this at 104, um, you know, it's probably not going to rev to 14,000 RPMs, but um, she'd probably hold a pretty decent RPM on the cut. Um, then again, I don't know the Strato could throw everything for a loop. I've not really checked timing on those. I don't really feel that it's necessary. I'll probably do some cleanup work there into the piston and, you know, call it it is what it is there but i'm gonna quit running my mouth we're gonna try to come up the game plan here tonight or in the morning and like i said they're giving rain all day so get in here and do some grinding on this thing and uh see what we can come up with see if we can hot rod the x torque um you guys have a good one